All right, ladies and gentlemen, took a little bit later to get here than normally because I have been busy getting ready for a couple of epic videos later tonight. We'll be in the end zone at Reeve Stadium, that historic landmark on the campus of the incredible Geneva College, spending a little time with their coach, Gino DeMarco. We're going to ask him about that triple offense, pretty special stuff. They are one and one on the year, and they're getting ready for their first President's Athletic Conference game Saturday night under the lights, nothing quite like it. Of course, Reeve Stadium, the Golden Tornado, 7 o'clock, St. Vincent, the Bearcats, coming off a big one against Teal, will be their opponent, and we're going to break it all down. Plus, we're going to talk about the Steelers and Vikings. That game is going to be at 1 o'clock on Sunday at Heinz Field, taking on the Minnesota Vikings, coming off their big win against New Orleans, and with Sam Bradford, had three touchdown passes, and of course, Ben continuing to dominate in his home state of Ohio against the Cleveland Browns. So, all of that coming up later tonight. President Trump confirming this morning that a deal was in the works with Democrats that would protect some 80,000 Dreamers who could face deportation when DACA expires next year in exchange for massive border controls and that a border wall would come later. Also, Hurricane Irma watched a lot of this yesterday. No power, roads are blocked, lots of frustration, including sadly eight people died in a nursing home that had no AC. Six, cause of death, excessive heat. The other two are under investigation. Hillary Clinton talking to Anderson Cooper on CNN, saying that it was time to abolish the Electoral College. She won the popular vote by nearly three million. President Trump won the Electoral College, a body of 538 members who select presidents based on the popular vote in each state. Her memoir is entitled, What Happened? She blamed James Comey for his rash involvement in the election, the former FBI director, also Russian President Vladimir Putin for directing operatives to meddle in the election, and apathetic voters who only got involved after the election. She also credited her husband, former President Bill Clinton, for helping her get over such a crushing defeat. That book entitled What Happened Hillary Clinton last night on CNN. And also last night, Jimmy Kimmel, Sean Spencer, who will be in town Part of the Shell Insight that's coming to the David L. Lawrence Convention Center later this month talked about surviving the worst job ever. Jimmy Kimmel, of course, mocking Sean Spicer. Melissa McCarthy and that impression on Saturday Night Live. Is he going to do a tell-all book? And Anthony Scaramucci along with the president's Twitter habits. And here's a sad note. You know, in Hollywood or in anything, when you're in entertainment, there's always that fear of being typecasted. I've always been one to say, if that's what you do best, run with it and continue to put food on the table for the family. And no one was better in the genre of gangster movies than Frank Vincent, who played mob boss Phil Lee Otardo in The Sopranos. He has passed away. He was in that movie Raging Bull with Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci, of course, directed by Martin Scorsese. The great movie Goodfellas, along with Casino and Pope of Greenwich Village, along with Wise Guys and Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, Frank Vincent has passed away a sad day in Hollywood. Chase Anderson looking very strong yesterday. He improved to 10-3 and three on the year. Pirates lose to Milwaukee. They get a breather today, and then they begin a series at Great American Ballpark tomorrow night against Cincinnati for the weekend, a little after 7. You can hear it, of course, on the broadcast home of the Pirates all season long, 93-7, The Fan. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the rest of your day. Good afternoon from the Pratt Pack Gym. And the next time we light the lamp, it'll be on the campus of Geneva College talking Golding Tornado Football.